This is Pat Hammond from Queen City Buzz, and today I am sharing a dictation app called Dictanote. A few months ago, I read an article that suggested I could increase my writing productivity by using dictation software instead of writing. The problem was I use Linux, and the only desktop programs I could find were for PCs and Macs. So I did some research, and I found this super fabulous little browser add-on for Chrome called Dictanote. Now, Dictanote offers both a free and a premium version, and the difference is minimal. The free version offers easy setup, voice or manual typing options, has language support for over 100 languages and dialects, uses a rich text editor similar to Microsoft Word, and is super easy to create, delete, share, and download your document. The paid version does all that and it lets you convert audio files to text, it gives you the option of multiple notebooks, and it also gives you access to the help desk. But the free version is going to work for anyone and if you really need the extra features, it's only $3 a month. The only downside I can find for this program is that the voice commands uh, are for English only. So if you need to dictate something in Czechoslovakian, you're going to have to either switch to English when you get to a comma, a period, or ask for a new line, or create a macro yourself to do it automatically. But I, I can't imagine that's going to come up all that often, and if it does, it's very easy to, to add your own voice commands. Let's take a look at the interface here. Basically, when I said it was easy to set up, I meant easy. All you need to do is open the app, which I've already done, click on editor settings, and set the language to whatever language you want. That is it. It doesn't get any easier. As for the dictation function, all you need to do is click on the microphone, and this is going to look a little weird and counterintuitive, but once you activate the microphone, it's going to have a line through it. I, I don't know who came up with that right idea, but just understand when you click the microphone and start talking, it's going to start copying what you say. And uh, without further ado, let's give this a whirl. Let me ask you a question. Full stop. New line. How many of you spend more than $5,000 a year on marketing? Question mark. New line. How many spend less than $500? Question mark. New line. When I started as a web developer, all you needed was a website and a social media profile to get noticed. Full stop. Fifteen years later, comma, that's not enough. Full stop. New line. National companies with deep pockets can outbid almost all of us on search engines. Full stop. New line. Facebook has changed the rules so much, only a few of your 500 followers see your post. Full stop. Undo. Facebook has changed the rules so much, only a fraction of your 500 followers actually see your post. Full stop. New line. So, as you can see, it works pretty well. It's not perfect. Uh, I don't like the line spacing on this. I find it hard to read. I, I'd like to see like one and a half uh, line spaces between paragraphs, but it's not something that can be changed. Uh, if you remember back in the editor setting, you had limited options. If that's my biggest complaint, it, it's not too bad, especially for a free app. And like I said at the beginning, I use this all the time. I use it mainly as a distraction-free text editor that I can log into on any device, but I do also use the dictation setting from time to time, and I find it extremely useful. If you'd like to try the free Dictanote app on your own, all you need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store, type in Dictanote, and when the app pops up, just click the Add to Chrome button. That's all there is to it.